Do I have to say it again? Yeah, look, I think I do. This is about to be the craziest episode of No Money Spent so far. I said this for last episode because we ended up getting five diamond cards. Yeah, four of them were in a dynamic duo. We got Jalen Suggs with his duo being Franz Wagner. Then also Austin Reeves as well with his duo being Rui Hachimura. But then finally, we were able to get ourselves this diamond Dikembe Mutombo. It was such a grind to get, but I'm so glad we got it. Leaving us with this team right here. And it looks absolutely insane, especially for a No Money spent squad but angus angus real quick just a question how many pink diamonds are we adding to the squad in this episode one no nah, that's not enough two yeah that would be nice but no we're adding three pink diamonds to the team like what <laughs> we also have all these crazy unopened packs that we have to get through so i'm so excited for these and with our team looking like this like bro it could get even better right now so you know what let's do a couple of these unopened packs right now we have these rewritten packs this one's just a base one but we do have a deluxe one coming up next nothing in it though just a gold how about the deluxe version of the rewritten pack? So I do apologize that the no money spent hasn't come out for a while. The reason for that, no shake in this one, just a sapphire. Okay, not great. But the reason is I've been super busy. If you've kept up with my Instagram, I went to the Australian Open and then soon it's also going to be my birthday, which I'm going away for again. And then I'm recording a crazy video after that where I have to go away for again. I also had a box party on the weekend in Sydney. So this is an Inferno deluxe pack. It guarantees an amethyst. So we do get a shake and this one, oh wait, does it guarantee? Yeah, it does guarantee an amethyst. Is it? it. Yeah, it is just an amethyst. So I don't really care which player this is because I think only the diamonds or pink diamonds I'll use. This one looks like actually James Jones. I want this card. I wanted this card so bad. All right, that's a huge W from this pack because that James Jones is literally exactly the same as Kyle Korver, if not better. So next one up. Okay, this is another James Jones. That's not what we want. I guess we can make him a dynamic duos base pack. Let's do that. And now let's open our dynamic duos base pack that we just got for free. Can we get something good from it? Yo, we get a shake. Okay, it could just be an amethyst that's what i'm expecting but it's a diamond instead okay i don't even know what diamond i want out of a dynamic joys base pack are you kidding me diamond do i want like sean kemp sean kemp would be perfect gary payton would be nice too there are a bunch of good diamonds this one right here shooting guard who's the shooting guard is this oh it's joe dumas i think who i could actually use because he's a really good defender Hey, I'm not mad about that one, actually. Am I going to use them? I actually don't know, but that's a huge W out of the free pack because now we have our Dynamic Duos Deluxe Pack, and this is the one I need you guys to help me out on. Be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can get 500 likes in this episode because, yes, we're adding three pink diamonds to the team, and also we've got a bunch of packs. So let's open this pack up. Thanks to your guys' like, it's going to be good. Guaranteed shake. Guaranteed shake, and, yeah, there it is in the same spot. Can it be a pink diamond or a diamond? Bam, it's another diamond. Hey, thanks for all your likes. Imagine if this is Isaiah Thomas and we just got a dynamic duo of Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumas in the same pack opening, giving us two more pink diamonds. Now that would be crazy. I'm not expecting it, but I want to see Sean Kemp. Give me Sean Kemp. Let's see which one it's going to be. Diamond player pull point guard. Okay, Gary Payton. No, it's Tony Parker. Hmm, look, I feel like Tony Parker is a player I'm unfortunately just not going to use. Like, he's not bad, but eh, just not for me. But still sick to get a diamond out of a free pack. And if you're wondering how I got those free packs, it was through the Dynamic Duo Spotlight Challenges and the Inferno ones as well. So it seriously shows how good they can be and how much I recommend it. Anyway, you might see these final three packs here for an equal chance at a Ruby player, equal chance at an Amethyst, and finally an equal chance at a diamond. Now, usually I wouldn't be excited for these packs, but there's one player I need. And that player is this man, right here diamond dante divincenzo a lot of the people are saying he's one of the best point guards in the game and we've got a one in seven chance of pulling him out of this diamond pack so man i want it badly and one in seven isn't too bad but before we open up this pack i've got something exciting we've got a sponsor for this video so you know what let's roll it so if you're from a and z make sure to compete for glory and prizes in the nba 2k24 showdown circuit on playstation 5 all you have to do is play well in the qualifiers to earn yourself a spot in the finals and there's money on the line as the top eight players in the finals will win a share of $500 in cash. So the qualifiers start from the 23rd to the 29th of January and the finals will take place in early Feb. So you might be wondering, Angus, how do you enter? Well, it's super easy. All you have to do is when you're on your home screen of your PS5 is see NBA 2K24. And then you just want to scroll down until you see upcoming tournaments right here. Then you'll see this one called the Showdown Circuit. Then you just want to click on that and hit register. That's literally it. Then you'll receive a notification 
mention when your next match is. And the good part is it doesn't matter if you're a casual or a hardcore player, literally anyone can compete. So if you want to show off your skills and win some cash, make sure to sign up to the showdown circuit right now. And thanks to PlayStation for sponsoring this video. So now let's just start with the ruby pack first. I know these rubies and these amethysts we really don't care for anymore, but I think there's one good ruby card actually out of this. So do we get that player? Nope. Can't believe we pulled two diamonds in this episode so far. Like last episode, I was so excited to just get one diamond. This one, we've got two already. This one's going to be... Is this Kobe White? I think it is Kobe White. I've actually heard not too bad things about this card. So, all right, we'll take it. But now it's time for the most important one, the equal chance for a diamond player. So obviously when we open it up, we're guaranteed the diamond. Just like that, bam, we get the diamond. But I want to see Dante DiVincenzo so badly. I need to remember what team he plays for. Okay, so we're looking for a Nick shooting guard. Dante, please, I need you on the team. It would be such an upgrade. Let's flip it and let's see shooting guard. Shooting guard, shooting guard, sh point guard. Man, that's so close but it's not what we want. This is going to be Terry Rozier, who's literally almost exactly the same. I guess not exactly the same. It's a 94 overall. It's not too bad, but unfortunately, it's just not what I want at all. I can't complain though, because we've already pulled three diamonds in just those unopened packs. I haven't even shown you guys the pink diamonds yet. So you might be wondering, Angus, how did you get those pink diamonds? And which ones are they? Well, you may remember 2K dropped the Inferno set and allowed us to get every single one of the players for free. Now, I dropped a video on this on how to get every single one, and I was grinding on this no money spent account. So one of the challenges was to get 204 pointers in clutch time. And then you were able to get yourself pink diamond Steph Curry. And uh, look at this, look who we have. Yes, so we got the pink diamond animation. And when we open it up, we're able to add our first pink diamond towards the squad being a pink diamond, a point guard number 30, Yes, being Steph Curry. This card's going to be so good on this account. I'm so excited to use him. So Steph, welcome. You were number one. Then one of the other challenges for the Inferno set was to get 15 triple doubles and then you got another pink diamond. That pink diamond being Andre Kirilenko. And guess what? We did it once again. So bam, just like that, we get another pink diamond. And once we flipped it, it is so exciting because this is going to be a card that sticks on the team for so long because Andre Kirilenko is always a beast and a small forward, power forward version of him being a pink diamond on no money spent is just crazy. So AK47, welcome to the squad as well. Then Angus, who was the final pink diamond? Well, I'm sure a lot of you have done it already, but yes, you may know if you're able to get 200 blocks over multiple games, you can get yourself this pink diamond Chet Holmgren. And yes, I did it ages ago, and that's how we now got Chet. So if we look at the team right now, it's not great, but are you ready for these changes? But are you guys ready? Because three, two, one, bam, this is the team that we've got right now. Starting with, yes, pink diamond Steph Curry at point guard. Then we've got pink diamond Andre Kirilenko, Pink Diamond, Chet Holmgren. And then our bench is just crazy too. With Joe Dumas, Kyle Korver, Kyle Kuzma, Dennis Rodman, who I evolved to the Diamond, and Joel Embiid. To think that this is my no money spent squad is just crazy. Also, we have 167,000 MT, and I'm not spending any of it right now. 2K announced they're dropping another pyramid of power for Pink Diamond, DeMar DeRozan, who could fit this team perfectly. So next episode is about to be crazy as well. Anyway, this right here is our squad. I love it, but I also want to see if I can complete this gauntlet right here, where all you have to do is win seven triple threat online games in a row to get yourself pink diamond Roy Hibbert. So this right here is going to be the team I use for my triple threat online run. And let's see if we're able to get seven wins. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. So our first game, we were up seven nil and our opponent quit. Then our next game, we won 21 to seven. Thanks to this Andre Kirilenko layup. Then in the next game, after this three by Chet, my opponent quit again. Then after this three with James Jones, once again, my opponent quit. Then Chet made this wide open three to allow us to win by five. And for game number six, we hit this tough fading three with James Jones to win by 15. So look, we've had a pretty good run so far because we're now 6-0. So all we have to do is win one more game and then we get ourselves this Roy Hibbert. But I'm nervous for this game, so I guess it's time. Let's get to it. Okay, my opponent has an interesting team. We've started off 3-0 against this team, which I'm actually really happy about. And Andre Kirilenko has been a beast for me, but I tell you what, who's been the bigger beast? It is James Jones. You wouldn't have really expected it, especially today when I wasn't super excited to get the card. Now I realize how excited I should have been. We had to make that shot, but Andre Kirilenko doesn't miss two in a row. Yes, he does. If Angus feels any sort of pressure, I can guarantee you he's going to miss the easiest of shots. The one game I need the team to play the best that they possibly can. We just can't get a rebound. Chet this time though, can make the threes at least. This is exactly why, exactly the reason why I just don't play these games with my camera on because I play so much worse. At least we've got James Jones. And for this being our last game to get a pink diamond, I probably should be a bit more locked in and make sure we make our shots, but it's just not happening. So Rui Hachimura, yeah, that's pretty good offense by him. 
He gets around. I don't even know what he's doing. He's just dancing around me, but at least the defense is still up. We are che chewing down this clock for him. So keep it up. Two seconds left. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Chet Holmgren though, we want the three. We want the three with Chet Holmgren. Okay, let's just get the put back and we get ourselves another steal. AK this time, give it back to James Jones, back to AK. I can't miss another three with him, can I? No, we don't. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm feeling good about this game. I'm feeling like this might be the quickest, like we pretty much speed ran actually getting this Roy Hibbert because I think it took me about 30 minutes with the amount of rage quits we were able to get. So I am more than happy with us taking 30 minutes to get ourselves a free pink diamond. He's going to get another offensive rebound here. No, he doesn't. Let's just pull this three. No, let's give it to AK. AK has been good. AK finish him off with another one. This is where I just choke. Like this is the definition of me choking right now. I got to score. I just have to score. Oh my word. What is this? Like, what am I doing is the real question. There is so many bad things that are happening in this game, but finally we get the dub. Oh, we're excited. And as we should be, we should have won a lot easier than that though. Question is, are we going to get anything out of the vault? I've heard some people say that the triple threat online vault is really good when it opens and it does open and it gives us 1000 MT. I'll take that. But the thing I'm going to take more is when we go over to our agenda and see that, yes, we get a post score deluxe pack. Nice. But most importantly, we got pink diamond Roy here. Hibbit, hibbit, hibbit. I can't believe I did that first attempt and literally took me 30 minutes. Let's go, Roy Hibbert. Welcome to the squad. Now, I guess for the team, we can take out Embiid and we can just casually replace him with Roy Hibbert. And this card looks so good because he's seven foot two and he can actually shoot the three ball. He doesn't have the best release, but his defense is absolutely unreal. So that actually means we got four pink diamonds this episode. I didn't even expect to get Roy. Anyway, this is now the team. I can't believe how good it looks. We're currently zero and zero this season, but with this squad, I'm actually expecting some big things. So anyway, I'm super excited. And without further ado, let's get into the game. So what's our opponent rocking with? He's got Devin Booker, T-Mac. Okay, this team looks scary, but we can compete. Like that's the good part is we actually have a really good team, especially with all our pink diamonds now. I feel so much more confident going against teams like this, where in the past I would have been so scared. So let's give it back out this time to Chet Holmgren. And this is one of my favorite cards. I use him on my main team. I think I have to set like, I don't know, Andre Kirilenko onto these guards just because it'll be impossible to stop them otherwise. So we need offense out of them. Like if we're going to use these cards, we need good offense just like that. Maybe we just have Steph all the way this time for the slam. And now I have Andre Kirilenko set on Devin Booker, which makes me feel a lot better about this matchup. Like I feel like we can actually defend this rather than just giving him wide open threes pretty much every single time. I'm looking for that steal, but now T-Mac is on Steph. Oh, I don't like that matchup. This is probably too easy for him. He has a backdoor and easy too. Maybe James Jones was really good for me, but maybe he has to come off the bench just because he ain't doing too well. On the defensive end, he's certainly sucking. But hey, we've been really negative. We're doing pretty well. Because after this free throw with Chet, it's now a tied ball game. My issue is I'm just giving him wide open threes literally every single possession. Like, does he want a wide open three? The answer is yes. He'll be getting one. And there's Steph though. Okay, this makes me feel better. He's brought Drew Holiday on. I know Drew is a good defender, but I'm more than happy to have him replacing Devin Booker. So yeah, we'll give you that three. Absolutely give you that. Let's pull down that rebound with Chet Holmgren and let's give it to Steph. Steph Curry, stop, pop, pull, a deep three, bang, baby. Just need my team to rebound. That's really it. Okay, to Kimbe Mutombo, no. Nah. Let's give it back down to Chet and Chet will get me that. Steph, good D, good D. Stay with him, stay with him. Well, that should have been a steal. No, he's going to get the slam. He's going to... Really? Nothing hurts more when you literally play good defense the entire possession, and then it just comes down to the final second of the possession he scores. Steph Curry, though, with another dunk. It's time for some Chet and Steph magic. Okay, Chet. Yep, good screen. Easy slam again. Again, the defense is on fire with this squad, so we need to just watch... Oh, I messed up. I met... I messed up. Actually, all I need to do is just stop going for that steal. And then we're definitely going to get the stops. So that's an N1 Steph. Man, oh man. Steph Curry has been unreal. And I tell you what, next offensive possession is going to be even better. Because yes, we've got takeover with him. I need to watch this corner. Hey, that is perfect defense once again. All I need is just one stop. Please 2K, allow me to just get one. We've played such good defense for 20 seconds on pretty much every single possession. So... I thought he was going to pull that down. We've got five seconds left. Steph Curry behind the back. Pull it. Steph Curry. Oh, I had to hit that. It's okay, though. We're up by five points. I mean, Steph has 17 points. You know what? Let's make that 20. Steph Curry. I love it. The awkward part is for how well my stars have been playing, I don't even want to bring my bench on. So let's give this one to AK. I love it. Oh, right, this is a big mismatch. And it's actually good defense, though. Come on. We need to watch this corner pass this time. This is such... No, oh, he's still going to score, though. No. Bruh. Oh, my... <sighs> 
three seconds in the game. Surely, surely that was per Oh my, 2K, 2 I need your help here. I need your help. After some perfect defense, he hits the three. Even he paused going, are you kidding me? Oh man. Come on, that's perfect defense. We pull down a rebound and that's exactly what we need. I'm looking at Chet. I'm looking at Chet for the fading three and maybe back out. Yeah, I just can't get it. I can't score. That, that better not be three seconds. It was about to be, and I was about to go insane. Back down to Dikembe this time. He hasn't scored, but now he has. And I have just called my bench on, so I'm very intrigued to see how they go. Yeah, I want to shoot that, but no, I want the slam on Joel. I've had my bench on for about a minute and a half. You guys haven't seen one second of it because they have just been appalling. Joe Dumas, Dennis Rodman, done nothing. What about Dennis Rodman this time going... I didn't, that's not what I wanted. Um, what about a steal? Joe Dumas, thank you. We needed that. Give me the slam. Joe Dumas playing some perfect defense here. We get across there. Dude, no, what? How did, okay. Well, he missed this. I put my hand up and now, oh my, <laughs> I need to be better. I need to be better. Eight seconds left and no shot. We want to be up this time. We want to be up at the half and Joe Dumas, perfect. You can't tell me that's not You're kidding. It's a tied ball game at half. Kuzma, I need you here. It's only a two and we make it anyway. I feel like I was literally so happy with my starters, but now I kind of just want to get rid of this bench because they're playing so badly. The thing is, I kind of have to keep them on for as long as possible or else my opponents are going to be able to use his bench as soon as he wants. I don't know if what I said made any sense. What about we get that good? All right, Dumas, I'm looking at you here. I don't want to pull that shot. We've got Kyle Korver though. Kyle Korver, I wanted him to jump. Let's pump fake. He didn't jump at all. Dude, I just can't score. Like literally that's all I'm looking for. A mid-range shot. It misses. There we go with Rodman though. In good news, we've got Roy Hibbert right here for his first two. Hey, we've got seven seconds left here. We can actually score five seconds. What about we run it on the inside like this? Give it back out to Roy. Roy Hibbert for the fading three on the buzzer. He got it to go. Let's go, Roy. Hibbert, Hibbert. And now we've literally got our stars on with full energy, which is exactly what we need. Starting with Dikembe, giving me a three. These are the most random players I'm yelling out, giving us threes. It's literally gone from Roy Hibbert making a three to then Dikembe. Kimbe Mutombo. Could you imagine in real life if that actually happened? It would never. It would absolutely never. We somehow need to stop this. It's just gonna happen. What good defense by James Jones that time. Steph Curry, this is a bit more realistic. Hit me that three. I know the game looks like a big blowout right now. We're up by 14. I need to make that more though. Let's make it 17. Let's go. I cannot believe we're up by this much versus this good of a team. Like it's actually an insane team. But the good part about us now is I don't have to say, yeah, we're at a huge disadvantage. Our team is so good as we hit that three with James. What? He just quit? I couldn't even check I couldn't check the stats. Okay, he quit, but we got the win. We were up by 18 against such a good squad. And I actually can't believe we were able to do that. Now what? Can we get something good on the wheel as well? I don't know what we're going to get. 1,250 MT. I will absolutely take that. There we go. And just like that, we've also ranked up as we're now 1-0. and oh. And as for this team, they just deserve a round of applause. They were so good. The starters especially. I have no faults in that. The bench though, I think Joe Dumas, Kyle Kuzma, and Dennis Rodman definitely could have been a bit better for us. So let me know who you guys suggest I pick up in the comment section down below. I'm probably going to get to Mar Rosen when he drops. So that's at least exciting. But man, I don't really know what else to say. Other than this episode was crazy. I think you guys can see what I mean by at the start. Yeah, it just definitely was insane. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you can follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.